All right, I'm going to give a little, uh, show y'all what's going on with my turn signals and whatnot here. It's, uh, my turn signals and gauge lights and radio and all that good stuff. I'm sitting in the car right now. The door's shut. Ignition off. I'm not going to run the car since it's late, but, uh, you can see right there, I've got the, uh, The radio was trying to uh, run. All I did was uh, turn the switch on, and you know the radio is trying to boot up and play. And when I turn the radio on, it guts out, and the turn signals will kind of blink, along with every all the other extra lighting I got. Now we got, turn the headlights on, the left turn signal stays lit, but it's blinking correctly on the outside of the car. Well, that one's not blinking. That one is. And that one is. Cleaned it all the way out from around it. But the tail light's blinking. Alright, that's the right one. It doesn't do nothing. It just stays lit. But my left front marker turned off. Front passenger side doesn't blink at all, doesn't turn on at all. The rear passenger one, the housing was bad, so the bulb just stuck down the fender right now. The light doesn't blink. <coughs> now, I turn the markers, turn signal off. I turn the dimmer all the way up, and it'll come up and it'll show my high beams on and my low beams like it should so now all the gauges are working right the radio is lighting up turn the dimmer off <laughs> switches are out of the way all right now let me see She was my turn signal stalled. Now, there's the left one. So we're doing the same thing. Same shit. All right, turn them off. Now the right one blinks. And the gauges are blinking with it. But I have to have the dimmer switch all the way up. That's the right turn signal. But oh wait a second. Yeah, that's the right turn signal. But the driver's side lights are blinking. Except for the front one. Passenger side's blinking. That front one's still not blinking. Back one's blinking. And both taillights are blinking. And that one's blinking. Now I'll switch it to the left. That one's not blinking. Front one's blinking. That front one's blinking. Should be, and that left one's blinking. <clears throat> now, if I hit the four ways, they all 
top of it, you should. Other than these fucking fish must be on the fenders. Taillights should be blinking. Taillights are blinking. That's on the with the full ways. Now. Oh shit. That's with the dimmer off. The dimmer on is blinking the high beams too. And it's blinking my defroster light and my extra interior light I have down here for an extra gauge. <coughs> now, let me turn them off. Radio is blinking. <laughs> and all right, with the switch, switch on. Radio's trying to turn on. I mean, all my extra lights are turned off. Try to play it. It just keeps dying. Everything flickers. Now, if I roll my dimmer up, it'll play. So the dimmer rolled all the way up, but if it puts it down, it will not run. Now, I shut the door, turns off. Open the door, comes back on. <laughs> so, dimmer off, turns off. Like I said, all my lights in the vehicle are turned off. Exterior lights and like I said, my turn signals are lit up. It's doing all kinds of crazy shit. And with the car running, I'm not going to run it tonight, but the car running, now only the tax is working. And none of the other gauges are working right. They will randomly turn on and off. Like right now, my fuel gauge is reading almost on empty. When in reality, since the... Uh, the sending unit's wrong, it reads at most half a tank low. It won't go any lower than half a tank because the sending unit's for a fourth gen and the gauge is for a third gen. But now, every now and then, it'll get to a spot where it'll work with the car running. See, that's what the headlights on and the dimmer up. You see, the fuel gauge is going back up, the lights are working. But it's got to have the dimmer up and the lights on. And I've tried changing out the headlight switch and the dimmer switch with another known good one. Still didn't work. So the only other thing I can think of, I'm going to try to check it out whenever we get a little warm weather and all the snow's gone, is when I had the car apart, I had the whole front clip off. And I'm wanting to say the passenger side front turn signal wiring got messed up a little bit by one of my dogs but I checked it over and never noticed anything you know open I saw it right away that was bad but there might be something there I, I missed so I might have to check it out like I said sometime when it warms up <laughs> but hopefully if I can get all this shit squared away I can start driving again but until then it drives me nuts not having the radio working and the lights working like they're supposed to. I mean, the headlights and taillights work all the time. The brake lights work. It's just the turn signals and gauge lights and gauges and radio and interior lights. It's just a cluster. It's driving me bonkers. But, uh, anywho, I figured I'd make that little video for you. Maybe somebody can kind of help what's going on. The car is an 86, by the way. I don't know if that makes any difference, but... Anyway, hopefully somebody can help me with something that I'm missing, maybe. But until then, I guess I'll just keep messing with it. 